Are you worried about nuclear war? About COVID? About antibiotic resistant bacteria? About global warming? About overpopulation? About that the sun's probably gonna blow up at some point? I was. The baying of doom seemed ceaseless and inevitable. If you're feeling depressed like I was, C.S. Lewis, the creator of Narnia and writer of many Christian apologetics, may be able to help you. If you ask C.S. Lewis, how are we to live in an age of potential nuclear war, he might reply, Why, as you would have lived in the 16th century, when the plague visited London almost every year, or as you would have lived in a Viking age, when raiders from Scandinavia might land and cut your throat at night. Or indeed, as you are already living in an age of cancer, an age of syphilis, an age of paralysis, an age of railway accidents, an age of motor accidents. In other words, do not let us begin by exaggerating the novelty of our situation. Basically, we're all going to die anyway, and we know that. But we keep forgetting the crucial fact that we are fighting the long defeat. It's only when crisis occurs that we are reminded of it. It may be a nuclear missile that kills us, or it may be cancer or old age, but how are you supposed to react to the news of imminent death? Lewis has an answer to that too. If we are all going to be destroyed by an atomic bomb, let that bomb, when it comes, find us doing sensible and human things. Praying, working, teaching, reading, listening to music, bathing the children, playing tennis, chatting to our friends over a pint and a game of darts, not huddled together like frightened sheep and thinking about bombs. They may break our bodies, a microbe can do that, but they need not dominate our minds. Oh, that's all very well for him, you might be inclined to say. He was a Christian. He believes in life after death. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in that stuff. My answer to that would be, if you believe in nothing and that death is the end, then don't worry. What difference does it make if you die now or later? You won't remember pleasure or pain. Death will be like you were never born. On that note, please like and subscribe.